as we open another school year for FINMA University of Pangasinan. It is good to return to knowing who we are. And according to a great philosopher, Aristotle, our identity is also expressed by the name that is given to us. So what is our name? Finma University of Pangasinan. You carry the name of the province, Pangasinan. You are not Ilocos Sur, Ilocos Norte. You are not Pampanga. You are Pangasinan. And inside the word Pangasinan, there is the word Asin. Actually, the identity of Pangasinan is in Asin, which is inside our name. So what does Asin mean for the University of Pangasinan? And what is the challenge for you as students and members of the academic community of Finma Yupang? What is salt? The first meaning of salt is that it is a symbol of purity. It is a symbol of purity because it is the product of two pure creation, creations of God. It is the product of, of the sea and the product of sunshine. And the sea and sunshine are both symbols of purity. So the University of Pangasinan, in the midst of Pangasinan, should be a symbol of purity. Purity of what? Purity of values. You go to your social media accounts, you watch the television, you surf the internet, and you're going to see the impurity of our thoughts, the impurity of our words, the vulgarity of our actuations, the vulgarity of our lives. If Yupang is to be true to its name, you must be a university of purity of culture, purity of virtues, purity of values. Yes, purity is more than chastity because purity means that you choose to be honest even if everybody is dishonest. That you, that you choose to be diligent even if the lazy are getting richer. That you choose to stand up for life even if the solution is to kill the criminals. Stand up for the purity of values because that is who you are. The second use of salt in Pangasinan is that salt is a preservative. It prevents food from getting rotten. When you put salt on fish or on meat, it is preserved. And let that be the mission of Pangasinan. If our society is rotting because of vulgarity, because of corruption, because of ignorance, let you, Pang, be the antidote to that putrefaction, to that decay, to that rottenness that is creeping in our society. Be a sin. A sin, salt, meaning to say, a preservative from everything that is wrong, from everything that is rotten, from everything that is foul-smelling. May you be a preservative like salt. And the third duty of salt is to give flavor to food. Without salt, food is bland. Without salt, food is tasteless. Walang lasa. Kaya pag nasa ospital ka, yun palagi ang reklamo. Walang lasa yung pagkain sa ospital. Kasi bawal ang maalat. But if University of Pangasinan is to be salt and true to its name, then you must add flavor to life. Sa University of Pangasinan, be excited. Bawal ang malungkot at nakasimangot because our duty is to bring light to the world. 
is to, is to teach the world that it is joyful to be disciples of the Lord. That we can, we can be honest and not be gloomy. That we can be diligent and not be nerd. That we can study well and not be considered out of the world. That we can show the world that it is joyful to be diligent. It is joyful to be honest. It is joyful to be a man and a woman of integrity. And this is what your name means. There is no other university carrying the name Asin, Salt, Pangasinan. And let it be you, a symbol of purity of salt, crystal and white, a symbol of the preservative, for preservative that is salt, and it defends society from rottenness. And the flavor of salt, making life more exciting, lifting up hearts, and giving joy, giving direction, making life truly exciting because it is a gift from the Lord. So when we open another school year for Finma Yupang, keep in mind your identity. Your identity to show purity of values. Your identity to fight rottenness in society. Your identity to make society happy with virtue. To make society happy with honesty, with integrity. I know you, Pang, can do that. Because actually, you have been doing that all these years. And I only ask you, continue and keep up the good work.